It's time. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the official Railway World Cup. In this series, we're going to see which country has the best operating railway in the world. 48 countries selected by you are going to be placed in this bracket, link in description, so you can see which countries have won each round. Also, because you will put too many countries, unfortunately, some of them will be appearing in round two. Also, this video is only going to contain pure facts, no bias. Anyway, it's time for our first round, Sweden versus France. Let the competition begin. Number 1. Top Speed The fastest operating train in Sweden is the X2000 with a maximum commercial speed of 205 km per hour. Impressive, but that train doesn't hold Sweden's record. Sweden's record high speed train, the Regina Test Train, actually reached a speed of 303 km per hour, which is actually quite incredible if you ask me, but unfortunately it doesn't beat France. The French's TGV high speed train sets managed to operate at a constant speed of 320 km per hour, which is actually the fastest operating train in Europe. Quite cool! Also, back in 2007, a TGV test train managed to break the world record for the fastest conventional train in the world with a maximum speed of 574.8 km per hour. Wow! Well, pardon me, but I think we know who wins this one. First point goes to France. Number 2. Cleanliness. Sweden has had a lot of new trains being rolled out to its fleet over the last few years, and you can imagine they have really nice interiors. Also, the local hold sets that still operate in Swedish rail are actually still really nice as well, given that they're cleaned properly and have had a very nice refresh. Meanwhile, France may have some very clean high-speed trains and some of their newer electric multiple units have been taken care of properly. Unfortunately, their local hold trains let them down. This is because a lot of the coaches have been unrefurbished, not cleaned properly, and have just been left careless by the passengers. So for that, I'm going to give this point to Sweden. Number 3. Safety Now unfortunately, I don't really know how to depict this, so I decided to go with the number of deaths and see which countries has the least amount of fatalities on their railway. Sweden's railway unfortunately has a rough estimate of 80 to 100 fatalities every single year on their railway, which is very unfortunate, but then you've got to have a look at France. Unfortunately, France's railway has a rough estimate of over 200 deaths every single year, which is very unfortunate. Granted, France is a much bigger country and has a larger population than Sweden, but because of the number of deaths is so high, I still have to give this point to Sweden. Number 4. Electrification Sweden has electrified roughly 75% of its entire rail network across the country, which is very good if you ask me. Unfortunately, France has only electrified around 56% of its railway. For a country its size, that's actually not really that bad. But because Sweden has a higher percentage, this point goes to Sweden. Number 5. Luxury Trains Unfortunately, Sweden doesn't really have any luxury trains. I mean, yes, it does have the Arctic Sleeper, but even that's not considered a luxury train most of the time. Meanwhile, France is actually the starting point for the famous Orient Express, and might I say it's the most expensive and one of the most luxurious trains in the world. France also has a grand total of six other luxury trains that operate inside its borders. One of them is the Le Grand Tour. So I think it's safe to say that this point goes to France. Number 6. Punctuality Sweden, in 2023 at least, had a rough estimate of 88% of their trains running on time. Huh, not bad. Meanwhile, France on the other hand had a rough estimate of 90% of their trains running on time. That's really good, I must say. So I think it's safe to say that this point goes to France. Number 7. Distance of track Sweden roughly has around 29,912 kilometers of tracks on its land. Meanwhile, France has roughly 29,900 kilometers of tracks in its country. France has roughly three quarters more tracks. So, this point goes to France. Number 8. Cheap affairs. In France, the standard price for a ticket between Paris and Lyon can cost around 16 euros at its cheapest, or 45 euros if you end up paying it up front. Meanwhile in Sweden, a ticket between Stockholm and Göteborg, pardon me if I pronounced that wrong, will cost you a cheapest at 295 Swedish Corona. The current value between a euro and a Swedish Corona is at least 1 euro to 11.28 Swedish Corona. Little bit of quick maths, showing the value of each currency shows that France is still better value for money, meaning that it wins the point and this round. Well, I'm not sure about you, but that was a bit surprising to me. But anyway, 
Congratulations, France. I'm very sorry to Sweden, who are unfortunately the first country out of the competition. But anyway, we're going to move on to our next round next week, where we see Greece versus Hungary. But for now, I'm going to leave the playlist, the brackets in the description, and the credits of all these clips coming up on screen. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next week.